I think you, you're just really zooming inward to the point that, that whatever that aspect is in the mind that thinks it can pick and choose among the forms and find its own way to salvation through the picking and choosing of the forms, you know, you're onto it now. You're, you're just starting to realize that it just isn't going to work. And initially, there can be a self-criticism or a judgment, like, how could I have been duped? How could I have done this to myself? How could I do this to my, to the, to my brother and sister? But, but then that's going to pass, too, you know, that, that as well. And I think that, that this, that's why in, in relationships, I know that deep down inside that you have this feeling that, that in some sense, Ben was given to you. It wasn't something that you were looking for or were looking for in that particular form or whatever. It was kind of a given kind of feeling in there, like, like it can be like, oh, this is, this will be the death of me or this will crack me free <laughs> forever, you know, kind of feeling. But this is given me. So it was a given relationship. And, and the purpose was holiness. That that's actually almost a year ago, I was, I was putting all over Facebook today, I was replaying Christmas from, we had a Christmas service at Camus, and it was a Christmas service and a wedding on Christmas, and I was replaying it. And yet, there was that sense of you're going for holiness, you're, you're giving your relationship to the Holy Spirit that's been given for you as the means of reaching that purification that point that says, I was wrong <laughs> about my perception of everything in this world. And this is going to be like the, the gateway, the, the 12, 12, 12 gateway. Right. Gateways in our mind when we offer it over to the Holy Spirit, that's going to be the gateway that takes us all the way, all the way back into eternity as a recognition. getting into, that's really getting into true empathy. You start to see that, that it's an invitation into the miracle, and I remember the first time I read this phrase in the Course, where Jesus said, make your invulnerability manifest. That was one of his strongest ways of saying, you know, stay with me, stay with me, no matter what the form, no matter what the appearance, no matter what thoughts flick through there, doesn't have power over you. Stay with me, stay with me. And I think that's beautiful about this monastery because that, you know, even when you seem to have a moment where you slide into that, there's one that's going to come in front of your face that's going to be saying, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. I don't buy it, I don't buy it, I don't buy it, like a rock. I don't buy it, and then you can, the ego can try to do its dance, and, oh, no, 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 and it's, no, I don't buy it, I don't buy it. That's what true empathy is, and in the Course in Miracles, Jesus says that it may be one of the hardest things that you're going to have to learn or accept is the true empathy. We're all familiar with false empathy. You poor baby, oh, come here, I'll wipe your tears away, oh, Feel your pain. tell me what happened, yeah, it's just, we know the false empathy was plenty, there was plenty of it. We had plenty of witnesses to it. And now there's something inside of us that's like, enough of the false empathy. Enough of believing, you know, false evidence appearing real. Fear. Enough of it, you know. It's, it's time for it to stop. And that's what is welling up inside of us now. We're, we're literally being caught, we're being pulled up by our bootstraps into the miracle. You know, it's, that's how the Christ deals with an erroneous uh, perception. It's like, come on, come up with me. Come on up, like pulling us up from the bootstraps. Come here with me. And to me, that's, that's worth it. I mean, that's, we're practicing that. It's the same thing, saying, that's right. I, I choose the love, I choose the love, that's I choose right. the love.